Okay, next we have Radmila Petrich from Biology, the effects of man-made noise on wild mice. Imagine going to your favorite park to relax, and instead of hearing the soothing sounds of birds and squirrels, you're now faced with the atrocious man-made noise from traffic and construction. Previous research has demonstrated that man-made noise induces fear, inability to sleep, and loss of appetite. As humans, we have the potential to relocate, but what we don't understand is the effects of man-made noise on animals, and specifically mice. Most people consider mice to be pests, so wouldn't it be a good thing if we got rid of them? Well, the mice I'm referring to are the ones that are supposed to be in our forests because they play a crucial role in maintaining a healthy ecosystem. They disperse seeds and help plants grow, and they're a food source for animals like foxes, bobcats, and owls. So it is important to understand the effects of man-made noise on mice, because their disappearance from the forest could have detrimental effects on our ecosystem. I spent the last three summers studying deer mice in the forest of western North Carolina. I captured mice at night and put tiny little collars with transmitters around their necks. And these transmitters are like GPS units that allow me to monitor their movement and activity in the territory. I also assembled a feeding tray to measure their foraging effort, microphones to record their vocalizations, which is a very important component of their communication, and an infrared camera to give me a visual of all of their activity at night in the territory. Okay. I collected all data without introducing additional noise, and then while broadcasting either man-made noise from a road generator or sounds from a running creek. And I found that after collecting 270 nights of data, the deer mice are very sensitive to man-made noise. In the presence of noise, mice spend 50% less time foraging, vocalizing, and being active. And some mice were so sensitive that they completely abandoned their territory. Overall, man-made noise negatively affects native mice. And this can directly and indirectly influence the health of our plants, as well as other animals in our forest. If we are not careful, then the next time we go back to our favorite park to relax, we may no longer hear the soothing sounds of birds and squirrels, but instead we will be faced with the silence of a dying forest. Thank you.